This video demonstrates how to perform current consumption measurements with the E2 emulator. The E2 emulator measures the current supplied to the user system. Hence, there is no need for modifications such as pattern cutting or insertion of shunt resistors on the user system board. The following features are provided through eSquare Studio. Graphical display of current consumption. Display of current value in conjunction with graphs. Display of the maximum current value and average current value within an interval. Display of the monitoring point on the program in a graph. Program stop by current measurement value. The operating environment for current consumption measurement is as follows. The information on each product is available on the Renesis web page. When using the E2 emulator for the first time, be sure to run the self-check program. Correct the current consumption measurement error. If the E2 emulator has already executed the self-check program, it is unnecessary to re-execute. In that case, please go to part 2. Set the switch of the 14-pin connector to the one side and connect the user interface cable to the E2 expansion interface. Connect the host PC to the E2 emulator via a USB cable. Navigate through programs. Renesis Electronics Utilities, E2 Self-Check Program, in the Start menu. Click Start. When the pop-up appears, disconnect the cable from the E2 extension interface and click OK. The pass message will pop up when the self-check of the E2 emulator and the correction of the error in the current consumption measurement are finished. Part 2 describes how to measure current consumption with eSquare Studio. Connect the E2 emulator to the target board and launch the eSquare Studio. Select the project workspace for the current consumption measurement and click Start. Open the project for current consumption measurement. Switch to the debug perspective. Access Renesis Views, Renesis QE, Current Consumption Measurement and click The Current Consumption Measurement, QE, window opens. Click the button in the upper right corner of this window to enable the Current Consumption Measurement function. Initiate Debugger Configuration Click on the triangle to the right of the debug icon. Select Debug Configuration from the pop-up menu. The Debug Configuration window will appear. Select the Debug Configuration file and configure the debugger settings. Click, 1, 2, and, 3, in the order shown in this video. Set the power supply to Yes from the emulator in connection settings. Click, 4, to connect eSquare Studio. You can operate current consumption measurements using the panel's top controls. Descriptions will appear when you hover your cursor over the buttons. First, perform the settings for current consumption measurement. In the current consumption measurement settings window, you can set the operation after the recording memory is used up, sampling rate, acquisition conditions, etc. If the acquisition condition is set to a value other than an acquire all, the current consumption measurement data will be stored in the memory only when the condition is satisfied, thus allowing you to acquire data for a longer time. Start current consumption measurement by clicking, 2. The program stops when stop program is selected in the operation after the recording memory is used up, which was set earlier. You can select detach to float the current consumption measurement, QE, view and move it freely by right clicking on the tab. The floating current consumption measurement, QE, view is expandable. You can adjust the displayed waveform of current consumption by scrolling the graph.
the cursor is marked with a red line. Drag the cursor to move it left or right. To display the cursor, click, 3. The green dashed lines are markers. There are two markers, marker A and marker B. You can also drag either marker to move it left or right. To display the marker, click, 1, or, 2. The average and maximum current values between marker A and marker B appear on the right side of the screen. Below is the current value and time of the cursor position, and further below, the information of the marker is tabulated. Here is an explanation of the search function. Open the Find Current Consumption Measurement dialog. Set the time for the monitoring point of the search condition, current threshold, and detection width. Select threshold and two threshold lines will indicate the range. If you select more than or equal to one of the following, there will be one threshold line. Click the search button to move the cursor to the position of the set criteria. Next, let's come to the monitoring points. Display the desired source in the editor window to set a monitoring point. Right click on the address display position, and go to Renesis event point, switch passage point. Similarly, try adding a monitoring point. A monitoring point mark appears on the right side of the address display position. If the setting of the monitoring point is changed, click 1 for the current consumption measurement. If you have not set a monitoring point or changed the monitoring point setting, click 2. By clicking 1, you will rebuild the monitoring point setting. When you zoom in on the current consumption measurement view, measuring will pop up during current consumption measurement. To zoom in on a waveform, press Ctrl and the plus key, and to zoom out, press Ctrl and the minus key simultaneously. For vertical reduction, press Ctrl and the down key, and for vertical expansion press Ctrl and the up key. For horizontal reduction, press Ctrl and the left key, and for vertical expansion press Ctrl and the right key. To display the list of monitoring points, click Display. The line color of the list of monitoring points corresponds to the color of the monitoring points in the graph. Use the checkboxes in the list of monitoring points to toggle the color of the monitoring points in the graph. You can search for the monitoring points in the graph. Open the search dialog and select a monitoring point. Click search. The cursor moves to the location of the monitoring point. You can also set trigger conditions. The trigger condition allows the user to set the action to be taken when the condition is detected. You can enable output external trigger signal to output the signal from the E2 emulator's expansion interface. Choosing stop program stops the program when the condition is satisfied and the current consumption measurement is completed. If the trigger condition is changed, click 2. The current consumption measurement starts without rebuilding. Stop measurement and display the waveform when the preset trigger condition is satisfied. The following explains the buttons located in the current consumption measurement window. These five buttons are related to current consumption measurement. You can use them to start and stop the measurement and to set the conditions for the measurement. 
These buttons are related to the cursor and marker. Other buttons are located here. You can use them to display and hide the list of monitoring points, save and load current consumption data, etc.